on Easter Sunday, 359 people at the time I last checked uh, were killed in a wave of suicide bombings in Sri Lanka. Uh, three churches, three luxury hotels were attacked. Um, 359 innocent people lost their lives. Snuffed out, just like, I can't click my fingers because of this shit. <laughs> shit doesn't work. Um, 359 lives, snuffed out, dead, gone. A horrific, horrifically brutal attack. Um, not to mention the number of injured, lives changed forever. ISIS have claimed that this was a retaliation for the Christchurch shooting where one guy who was most assuredly not a Christian killed innocent Muslims in a mosque, in fact, two mosques, innocent people doing the prayers, whatever they do, and he went in and slaughtered them. So ISIS claimed this was a response. I'm not sure how three churches counts as a response to that. I'm not sure who they are to think they should be responding to anything. They're just vile murdering scum, right? But the weird thing, the suicide bombers. We think of suicide bombers as being people from poor backgrounds, people of no education, people that are easily led. At least two of these were from really quite wealthy families, middle-class guys. One of them uh, was educated here in the UK, wasn't he, Graham? Yes, yeah, he came here for university, yeah. I, I can't hear you through this tonight. I'm not sure why. Anyway, reasonably well-educated from reasonably wealthy families, and it makes me wonder if I'll be hearing Skype after as well. But how can it be a retaliation? Because the guy that did Christchurch was not a Christian. Now, I'm an atheist. Died in the wool atheist. But there's things about the way this came out that bother me intensely. Not just the fact people were murdered. Let's step away from that and look at the reaction to it. See, the reaction to Christchurch was a general outpouring of sympathy. Obviously, there were people online that were just happy to see Muslims die because they're scum. Not the Muslims, the people that are happy to see people die. Just because they're Muslims, they're fine. With it. We don't need to address vermin like that. We don't need to. It wasn't a room full of suicide bombers he shot up. It was a room full of innocent people just like the people in these churches. But quite rightly, after the Christchurch event, outpourings of grief and sympathy and world leaders saying how it was a tragedy for the Muslim community there, the Muslim community pulled together, we can all be together, and it was, it was addressed as such. It was a minority that were attacked. It doesn't matter whether they're a minority or not. It was a group of people that were attacked because they were a group of people. So rightly so, we sympathised. Some people went further, they turned up in hijabs and things to be outside for a candlelit vigil and things, but whatever, you know, whatever does it for you, if you think that works for you, it's none of my business. I might find them to be a symbol of oppression, but others don't, a symbol of comfort, whatever. People went to show their solidarity with a group of people, and rightly so, because they were part of the community, they were innocent people. It's fine. But the way there was a reaction to this attack was really confusing for me. As an atheist, keep that in mind, I don't subscribe to any man-made religious bullshit. I, I, I just don't. I respect your right to. I respect your right to believe whatever you want and to go through life believing it, providing it's not at the expense of other people. <laughs> Which is Kind of tricky for most religions, to be fair, some more than others, perhaps. But when Hillary Clinton... Hillary Clinton, there we go, um, tweeted about it, and I believe Barack Obama as well, about the church bombings. There was no mention of Christians. No mention that, you know, I, I feel for the Christians around the world, the Christians here and the Christians community has to gather around and we have to show solidarity. There was none of that. And I found that really odd because it was churches that were bombed. People were attacked because 
of the group they were in. In this case, Christians worshipping at what I su suspect is the, the holiest day in the Christian calendar, Easter Sunday. Hillary would have referred to them as Easter worshippers. Easter worshippers. We don't, we don't call Muslims Eid enthusiasts or Ramadan fans. We don't call Jewish people Hanukkah maniacs. Poor him psychos. We don't do that. But for some reason, maybe it's because it's the largest religion. I don't know what it is. It's not as if it's not as if Islam's a minority religion. It's fucking huge. But for some reason, we're not allowed to show any kind of solidarity with, with, with Christians. Now, I don't believe in, in, in being forced to respect. Whilst I respect your right to worship, I, I won't be forced to respect your religion, your gods, your idols, whatever, whatever they are. But in society, we, we, we're told if you disrespect um, Islam, you, you could be in trouble for a hate crime or something like that. Disrespect uh, Judaism, although a lot of people do that fucking constantly. You could still theoretically be pulled up for anti-Semitism, something like that. But there's nothing for Christianity. Now, I know if you are a, a true Christian, you turn the other cheek anyway. Pity the unbeliever, just, you know, turn the other cheek, it's fine, whatever. But surely the rest of us have a duty to show some kind of equality to all of these religious groups. If you attack a church, you're attacking Christians. If you attack a synagogue, you're attacking Jews. If you attack a mosque, you're attacking Muslims. Nothing else matters when you're doing that. You're going after that group of people. If it didn't matter, you'd just go after shopping centers where you'd catch one of everything. Now, I get it. I kind of get it. They don't want to talk about the Islam angle too much because it might fire up the people on the right to talk about Muslims and then ordinary Muslims will be victimised. But by the same token, there's nothing, nothing whatsoever wrong with pointing out that this hateful group who are predominantly saying that they are Muslims, although you always get that argument, the no true Scotsman argument, okay? It can be no true Scotsman that does that. L look it up. Um... This was a Muslim group that attacked Christians. This happens a lot in the Middle East. It happens a hell of a lot where the Christians are usually the persecuted minority. But we won't recognise that. Now, I'm all for cartoons of Christ. I'm all for that. A bit of lampooning of you know, like the Jewish stereotype. I don't mean in those dreadful Nazi cartoons that people post online all the time. Just you know, taking the piss. We should be able to do that with Muslims as well. It doesn't mean you're being victim. It's just taking the piss. It's okay. Your God will be okay. But for fuck's sake, can we not be fair about this? There was an attack where people were murdered because they were Christians. Not Easter worshippers. Not people praying. Not this, not that. For being Christian. They are a minority in that part of the world. We're supposed to stand up for minorities. That's what we're supposed to do. So if we're going to do that, let's do it. Don't pick and fucking choose. Be honest. Be consistent. I, I just don't understand the messages put out by the likes of Hillary and Obama. I, I don't understand why I used her first name and his last name. Um, I should have said Hillary and Barack, but it sounds like we're friends then. We're not friends. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what Trump said about the bombings. I don't know. I can't imagine he fucked it up too bad because I didn't hear about it. So, you know, it was probably okay. But I don't get this willingness to ignore something so obvious. What's to gain? I, I don't understand. And as an atheist, I've got no dog in this game. I just see innocent people being murdered because of what they believe. 
And that doesn't sit well with me. When people were saying about Christchurch and, well, the Muslims this and Muslims that, it was just innocent people going about their fucking business, praying to their God in the building that they use, and this prick went in and fucking killed loads of them. <clears throat> this was no different. So why no rallying call for Christians? Why not? Are we really that frightened of the far right? That we just better not say anything in case it sets them off. And we better not say anything about Islam in case it sets them off. If you're worried about any critical opinion of groups only affiliated via religion that will kick off a mass problem, we've got bigger problems. We shouldn't be pussyfooting around these groups of people for fear that, well, fucking hell, you can't, can't criticise that religion because you get fucking killed. No, we've got a problem if that's the case. We've got a real problem because you know what it means? It means we're kowtowing to the fucking extremists who don't give a fuck about anybody else. ISIS don't think anyone else is Muslim enough compared to them. Much like the Wahhabists. I'm sure Orthodox Jews don't think any other kind of Jews Jewy enough for them. But on the flip side, you don't worry about taking the piss out of them. With the stockings and the funny hats and things. I love those fucking furry hats. I want one of them. Big round furry hats. Look fucking great. I'm have to get one. Set that guy that calls me an internet Jew shyster. That'll set him off good and proper, won't it? Yeah. Oh, I need to get some photos done. I'll get that done. That'll, that'll set him right off. But I think, like I say, the ultimate one was Hillary Clinton referring to Christian people in church as Easter worshippers. Doesn't even make a lot of sense. Easter worshippers. They don't worship Easter. I know. Uh, 12K, uh, what was it? 12K324. Wanted to, wanted to make sure you knew that Obama did use the same term as well. Oh, there yeah. we go. It doesn't surprise me in the least. doesn't surprise me in the least. He also added that Hillary is, is a soiled nappy. Hillary is a, he's a, <laughs> Hillary is a terrible human being. There's, there's no two ways around that. Soiled nappy. 